video. This time he uh nigga that went to Ohio with some white boys. So we gonna get straight into it, see what this shit talking about. Big bag on these completely two different orders, bro. What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. We're on the block in Cincinnati. I would say this is the highest percentage of sketchy whites I've seen in the area. Tommy G about to get his tap. Tell the people what's up. What's good? Bro, you can't be beating your dog like that. You don't beat your dog yet? Oh, this is probably the angriest I've gotten in my history of YouTube. Before we head into the streets, let me tell you a quick story about Cincinnati. In 1788, Cincinnati was founded by three businessmen from Kentucky. At the time they bought it, Cincinnati was a wild wilderness where men starved and struggled hey, look, to survive. I'm going to be honest, this is what I don't care about. You dig? So we're going to go ahead and skip it up to the good shit. With Shopify's mobile app, you can handle your business anywhere. Manage orders. Shots up in your block, I know my shooter do. This is what's been fueling our whole road trip. Are oh, these healthier than this? Yes, because this has a ton of sugar. For you, Tommy G. <laughs> I'll go ahead and give me a Celsius. Okay. Bro, all right. Cool. You've seen 50 grams before, right? Yeah. That had 50 grams of, of sugar. sugar. Right, that's insane, yeah. If you're eating too much sugar in your diet, it's hard to feel good, it's hard to feel strong. We're going to taste test. I'll give you the berry one. I think the berry one's a little bit right. better. It smells like sparkling water. No? It's like sparkling water with an extra razzle-dazzle. Let's walk down to the house, man. I'll show you uh, where I jumped off the porch at. Do you think I should uh, do that? I've been noticing there's a lot of sketchy whites around here. Yeah. Like white guys that red look like they'll mow your lawn. I say red butter. We cross the pole, bro. Wait, was that superstitious? Or what's yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, you don't cross the pole. Okay. If you do, you got to say brand butter or spit on that motherfucker. Why that, of all things? Because if not, you it's bad luck. Why are you in sport mode? <laughs> I haven't been to Cincinnati before I got me ready. You good, bro. You can take him out of sport mode. <laughs> right here is where I jumped off the porch at. Uh, you know what's crazy about that split in the pole shit? We used to say the same thing, but it wasn't no goddamn bread and butter. This nigga said bread and butter or spit on it. What, the, what type of shit is that? It was like, nigga, if you cross the pole, wrong side, it's like bad luck or something. I ain't never heard of no bread and butter or spit on it. That's crazy. And when you and, uh, say jumped out the porch, what does that mean? Getting out in the mix, out in the streets, fucking around. Right here's where I grew up at. Like, I have friends that live actually in that house, all up the whole street. I got my first gun when I was 12, yeah. I actually stole my first gun. What did your folks think? Did you grow up in a two-parent household, or what was your, your, your childhood like? My mom and dad were split growing up. My dad had a wife, and then my mom had her dude. I was mostly with my dad at a younger age, and then right before I did jump off the porch, I moved in with my mom, which probably influenced me to jump off the porch because I was in a different neighborhood. Would it be that she was at work and you kind of had a free run of the house? Nah, I mean, I just kind of did what I want anyway. So probably about, had, landed me in prison, really. Tell me about that story. It was just years of doing the same shit over and over, you know, robbing people, selling drugs, doing this, doing that, partying, getting up. The laptop apartment moved there. His bitch used to smoke crack, but he used to sell crack and they used to cook crack up there. Mm -hmm. My mom was on heavy drugs too. So it was inside of my house, you know what I mean? What was your like experience in that? Came normal. I didn't notice how like off it was like to be living in a situation like that. The whole United States is f***ed up on fentanyl, bro. And you think it's the Chinese are running it through the country? That's where all the fentanyl comes from, China, bro. They, and then they send it through the Mexico up to here? Yeah. And around here, there's a lot of sober living houses. I don't know if y'all got that in y'all city. I'll bet you there's two of them where we're standing and we don't even know it right does now. That, does that ruin a block or help I don't block? know, man. It's just weird how they put the people that are trying to get off of the drugs right where they sell them at. That's also got us to understand how they're taking advantage of that situation, too. If they can make a house that got seven bedrooms in it and charge people $70 a week each head, that's a $5,000 property a month right there. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. It's a lucrative thing that people, some people are trying to help, but some people really just want that money, bro. Say you stacking up, but I don't see shit. Let him drive the boat, he tried to ride the wave, got seasick. Mafia up in this bitch, my back will weigh in 3-6. 2 a.m., dark tent, backing out, can't see shit. We, One, we, we were two, up, but we weren't. three, 
four, five, six, six or seven houses just on this street. We you broke, broke into, into your neighbor's home? A lot of them were abandoned at the time. So did you ever get caught stealing? Yeah, I actually got caught breaking into this house right here. I went to jail. Is that red red one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the red bird. You went what to jail for that? Yeah, I fucking, this was like 2008. I had the, uh, the all camo bay hoodie. It was the one Lil Wayne used to wear. Right, I'm going to keep it a buck. Breaking into abandoned houses, bro, that don't even count as no lick, I mean. You breaking into a house that's abandoned. If it's padlocked, you feel me, they got kicked out that motherfucker. Yeah, that's different. But you talking about abandoned, nigga? What's inside? Man, that's, that's something completely different. But I remember I hung it up on the fence, and it was snowing outside. So they found my trail from my foot, my footprint. They found my trail back to my house from hopping the fences. Found my bait hoodie on the fence. The police came in and dragged me out in the snow. What was your punishment? I think I was locked up for like a month, and then I got out on house arrest. How old were you? 13, 14. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Live from the trenches, need a trophy in this bitch. I'm trying to ball out. Where are we walking into right now? This is uh, uh, brand new in the making tattoo shop. My brother's tattoo shop. Yeah. I woke up in this bitch with confidence. That's just how I'm rocking. No, they probably say I'm fake, but some people tell me they still watch. I've been going up, and all this shit came out of pocket. Does anyone say like, oh, you're white, you're not hood enough? Or like, do you ever get that kind of pushback? Man, my crowd? comments on social media are crazy. What do people say? Look, you want to just go through, we'll just yeah. read a couple of them. Yeah. Right. This man has an ankle monitor for beating up his mom for not yeah. taking him to the dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather listen to country music and let Mike Tyson bite both my ears off. Can we talk about how f***ed up his haircut is? Let the man be great. Damn, social media need to change its name to talk at a safe distance. Do you feel like if you were black, you wouldn't be getting those comments slightly you know, i say things in my uh music that are probably within the black culture more so white people saying it but like to be honest i don't give a f you know what i mean i am who i am i'm not trying to be somebody else it just might be the image the blonde hair too i got blonde hair and i got blue eyes and shit so but you know come in real life we'll see you in real life in the f that one video they're like damn dude always got the strap on would you consider yourself hood yeah. So the gang I was in was CWB, Cincinnati White Boys, right? And only in the Ohio, really, prison system. What's crazy is, like, some of my closest people that was, like, gang members were black, though. Like When you're in prison, cities stick with cities, no matter of color. But that's what this is. This 323-2 is. Which I don't gang bang. It's a prison thing, really, man, is what it is. So. Should I get a CWB tattoo? No. <laughs> bro, I'll get a matching tattoo with you, bro. What's up? That's my name, I swear to God, I will. I'm ready to be certified in these Cincinnati streets. I had to see the vision from afar. All right, Carter. So we got a mic there. But I know one thing I'm a star. They gon' try and write you off and leave you in the dark. I done took a thousand losses, still I'm going hard. We're starting a gang. Smiley face gang, bitch. <laughs> Black flow, you can put it on the state black flow. You got our consent. Oh, it's my birthday, you know what the going on. Big flag on this That was the first time I feel like we've been checkpointed in a city. If you've been injured in a car accident, don't call an attorney. Use this AI app instead. That's what I did, and it's how I got this $100,000 check in less than 30 seconds. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me. If you've been injured in a car accident, I'm about to turn your world. What just happened? Can we get checked a little bit? I don't know. Nah, boys. My name Polo. Nice to meet you, Polo. Nice to meet you, too. What's some Cincinnati lingo? Icy white. On baby. Icy shit white? like that. Yeah, it can mean anything for real. Like, if I fought you on one, like, I just icy white as your ass. Like, Hold on, be naked and said that somebody hit him with a bike. This one hit me with a bike? Now you got it. What happened to you, man? Hit me with a bike. Like a motorbike or a pedal bike? These are completely two different orders, bro. I can explain shit to me. I mean, what's up? You're gonna be mad if I read you. If I don't remember, explain to me. How would you guys describe Cincinnati to someone that's never been here? Energetic on a weekend. And it's some different shit in area hood. This is right now. State Avenue, 2100. So you just turned 25. What are your reflections on life so far? Honestly, I just live day by day. Went to school, went to college, dropped out of college. Just start doing dumb yeah. shit, my life up, got back in motion. There's always gonna be hurdles, right? But you yeah. always have a chance to, where do things go wrong? My firstborn son was born with a heart problem. I had a lawsuit after I graduated high school. 
And that's where I really just I forget school and stuff for real. He was three years old in the past. How long did it take to get here like that? About seven years. That dedication. Started him in prison. So tell me your story a little bit. Me and T.E., we do a lot of the music shit together, man. We did a lot of the video shit. Like, we just, as soon as we got together, we just started, you know, really collaborating, really working real, real hard. I went to prison at 18. As soon as I got out, man, I just grinded. That's it. What took you away? A shooting case. So what'd you learn from your time in going to prison? Don't play with this shit, man. Just don't play with life. You got one opportunity. You got to continue to do everything you're supposed to do. And then... Do most people mentally break at some point? Yeah, hell yeah. Especially like, you know, America's one of the few places that still use uh, solitary confinement. That's where a lot of people end up breaking that. I ain't never done a whole lot of time in the whole, you know, TE's done a significant amount of time, 23 and 1. 23 hours lockdown, one hour out. That was the worst year of my life. Yeah. Oh, I was only in 23 and 1 for a year, but it was mostly a like... A whole year? Yeah, but it was like 24 most of the time. What'd they you do for that? For assault. So I was at a medium camp for two years, and then I got sent to Lucas. Like you want to know what that shit feel like? Go in the bathroom with no phone. Lock yourself in that motherfucker for 24 hours. Come out one hour to eat. You know what I mean? That shit ain't it. Ville. You got that for a fight, though. Yeah. yeah. It's like bars, so you can hear people talking. But not like this. For yeah, a you wouldn't have no yeah, facial no. contact. No. What? Tell the people where we're at right now. The state block, man. SB. What is some Cincinnati lingo? I'm trying to... I want to blend in a little bit. So I learned it's up. I saw a dude get icy white. You <laughs> <laughs> be, be just mean winning. What life is like growing up in this area? It's rough. You know, it's, it's life of survival. You know what I'm saying? We lost a lot of guys down here, you know, block over on that corner. A lot of stuff just go on, happen. Tell me about your fashion choices right <laughs> now. Don't play this shit. Don't be about none. I just do this shit. <laughs> I have a confession, okay? I've been to a lot of cities. I would say this is the, the highest percentage of sketchy white. I've seen in there. <laughs> what is your guys' advice for the youth? If they see all these music videos that they think they want to be in the streets, what would you tell people, young people watching those type of videos? Just be in the streets, but just add to the to the positivity. Start a business, create some jobs, man. That's it. Be a good person, bro. Whatever you do, be honest and be a good person. Work hard for that shit. Dream big and achieve that shit, regardless. What would you say to someone who's unsure about using Shopify? My business has grown significantly since getting on Shopify. Listen, is this a city that you can eat a hot dog in public, or do you have to like do it in the privacy of your own home? <laughs> you around us, the camera's coming out. I want to hear bars. If someone's got uh, bars, never stood next to your man's killing. Gotta keep it cool. Four murders and four nights, like it gotta be the moon. Nigga screaming out twelve, like it gotta be at noon. I used to tell them Woo! little kids that they gotta stay in school. They respond like flee, we broke, and we gotta make a move. Cause our daddy's ain't around, and our mama's needing food. And that written on the first we don't have it. We gotta move. So when I wake up, I pray up. My knees hit the floor. I feel for them little niggas. I was there once before. It was me when I was down. You weren't there when I was broke. They bailed on me when I fucked up. Want to be here for the glow, and I'm like, no, niggas popping perks now. This is how we cope. Said you was the goat. Now that shit looking so. Nigga, my block got nightmares. You had to be right there when Baker took a bullet to the side of the neck. You can only catch a servant at best. Say a word with my chest. I'm the last little bird at the nest. I'm humble because I remember being a janitor at best. And before I owned the building, I was serving the guests. That's one thing for certain. I'm sure that you niggas working. Sure that you niggas hissing. And sure that you niggas chirping. Hey, oh, you're killing it. <laughs> no, nah, that's you. So you got hit in the face with a bullet. I came out my face. What was that like? I don't know. Random, random day on the block, yeah. random night, man. How old was you when that happened? That shit, I was like 17 when that shit happened. I ain't really trying to talk to nobody. Used to be a big nigga there, I'm feeling got to go in here with your boobies. I'm gonna get shot and hang out. What is it like raising a child in this area? It was hard. Yeah. We want some for some of the people down here. Yes. We probably wouldn't be in where we at today. At Oiler School, they did a beautiful job with my son for basketball. Yeah. I ain't never been so proud in my life. I'm just glad that all the things they do down here for people. They just built that over there. They got a that new development. Back. 
Yeah. Are they making that section eight and helping people out? Yeah. That's good. Got one more. Oh, we gotta get that dog out of here. Dog, Just kill the dog. The dog is right. oh, he is. What happened next was really ugly to watch. A man picked up his dog and was beating it, and I had to say something. Here's the interaction that followed. Bro, you can't be beating your dog like that. I'm not with that dog. Oh, so you just let your dog don't listen? I'm not with my dog to have, that's for sure. You don't beat your dog yet? Oh. So if your dog shit in your house, you ain't gonna beat your dog yet? They don't understand that. There's alternate methods of raising dogs around here. Shit makes me really good. Nah, I feel you. That ain't cool at all. This is probably the angriest I've gotten in my history of YouTube. Yeah. On God, I never yeah. yeah. saw you turn up. On this channel, we do not support anyone being heavy handed with their dog. Come on. It's your dog. I love my dog. Sorry, guys. Hey, I felt him on that, though. You feel me? There's a way to do all that shit. You know what I mean? There's a way to discipline all that shit. I got a little heated when I see someone. Whoa, the dog weighs 10 pounds. Like, come on. Yeah, Tommy G is about to kick his okay, ass. Okay, once, close. whatever, but yeah, over, and over. Kick his ass, Tommy G. I always want to have, like, Jeez, a loving yeah, attitude like towards time. people, but cool, that stuff gets me heated, you know? You're not a good dog. You're a good dog. You know that? You're a good dog. Milwaukee dance moves are the greatest, dude. Is there any advice for the youth? Stack your money while you young. Know. I just graduated though, for real. It's not for everybody. Everybody don't know goddamn triangles. Go to school, kids. What he talking about? You go to high school, graduate, then go to college, and still be f***ed up in life. You should go to college, but school, I'm talking about school, I'm talking about K through 12. That shit ain't skip K through 12, but go to college. No, I ain't saying that because there's no way you can do that. <laughs> it's a fantastic job getting to explore all the different cultures and communities and places in America. And this is one that was a very good time. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a beautiful time in Cincinnati, seeing its music, seeing its people, and um, I had a great time. Any final thoughts, fellas, before yeah, people go on with their life today? I mean, just appreciate appreciate you coming. I you know, appreciate you. Shout out to my guy, T.E., you know what I'm saying, for having you and bringing you. Shout out to my brother, C.J., man. Guys, mainstream media wants to convince you that people are always beefing, that we hate each other, that life sucks. But if you actually hit the streets and talk to people, life is pretty damn good. Show love to your fellow people out there, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Oh, look, man, stuff, you gonna notice me, but Hey, man, well, you heard it. That's the end of it, man. If y'all rocking with it, go ahead and drop that. We out.